Welcome back to another My Manager Career with Blackburn Rovers, and we've got an exciting episode here. Another four matches into the championship. We're currently sitting in 12th place, uh, 12 matches in, uh, with four wins, five draws, and three losses. Now, a quick look at the Youth Academy going by your comments in the comment section on a couple of the videos. Uh, we are going to move Bostos into the camp position for the development. Uh, based on his uh, speed and drill, dribbling ability. Uh, it will take up to four weeks, but we will move him across to that cam position. Now, looking at the Youth Academy, we did pick up Neil in the last scouting report. 16-year-old uh, uh, does play on the wing or the cam position. Currently 59 overall. Jerick is looking to develop nicely, uh, currently 15 years old. Uh, so plenty of time for us to get him ready for the starting lineup. Hodges is another one, uh, 15 years old. He's currently 62 overall uh, and developing nicely. Uh, now looking at Hodges and Villa Nuiara. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, sorry if I butchered it. Uh, these two, we are going to continue to develop them, but we might look to transfer them out in the transfer window. Obviously, Hodges won't be on this one, uh, but we might look to kind of recoup some of the money spent on the Youth Academy uh, with the transfer out in the next window. Uh, Polomino is also developing well there, currently box to box, and he plays the center midfield, but potentially could move up into that camp position as well for us. Now looking at the scouting reports, we weren't getting a lot of hits on Defender when we had world-class prospect in there. Uh, so we have made a bit of a shift with um, it moving just to first-team quality and first-team prospect. But we have moved uh, world-class prospect to any position, looking for that next superstar. Uh, so hopefully we get a couple of hits over the next uh, month. And then uh, we've got about 60 days before the next transfer window. And we can see what we can do uh, when... Uh, that comes up. Uh, I'm interested to know what you guys think as well uh, when we do get a couple of scouting reports come in. Now, before we get into the match, coming off the back of a phenomenal match, um, Dolan is going to get his opportunity to start for us. So we mo will move Roberts to the bench and move uh, Dolan into that left wing. Uh, him, Brewster, Asante and Buckley, uh, that combination down the left side, Really worked well. Same with Picker in there. Uh, so we will roll with that in this next match against Leeds and give Dolan the opportunity to cement his spot in the starting lineup. Now Gallagher has got an offer. He obviously been transferred listed because we do not see a future with him at the club. Uh, Leonard's coming through the ranks and he is 19. So we will move Gallagher on instead of re-signing. And we have had an offer here for 1.7 million. Uh, so we will accept and uh, hopefully we can secure this transfer. Now let's get into the first match. It's going to be up against Leeds. It's going to be a tough one. They're currently sitting in second place with us in 12th. Um, but we're going to need everyone performing in this one if we are going to pull off the victory. Heim is looking a little tired, uh, but we do have Wharton on the bench. But we will start with Haim in this match. As mentioned, Dolan's going to get the starting spot on that left wing. And we've got Brewster and Asante up front. Daniel James has scored three goals in his last match for Leeds. Last three matches. So definitely going to be a tough match here. Now in the last episode as well, we did change the game style to Gangan Press, the tactic. And that seemed to really work for us on that one. Oh, that was a poor play there by Britton. Bit too slow trying to get the ball out there. Buckley in the middle. And nice play there by Heim. It's a clearance here. See if we can reset a little bit here. Brewster coming up defensively, and the ball goes out, unfortunately. Quick play of the ball. Dolan pushing up. Same with Pickering. Nice play there by Pickering and Brewster. It's a 
Holland sliding across. Acuna, nice defensive play, but leads all over it after losing the ball. But we do continue to fight there. Ball back to Buckley. Settle it here. Down to Buckley. Acuna through to Semi. And defence just a little bit quicker than Semi on that one. We're unable to secure that first opportunity there for us. Buckley sliding across. Carter was out of position to get beat. All back in. An unfortunate mistake there by Britain. Try to pass it out across the floor. And Leeds get the first goal. Not the start we want. Britain trying to get it to Carter, but unfortunate. Can't do that against a quality squad. All out to Dolan here on the left. Got a bit of pace and space, but unfortunately Gray cuts him off. Potentially should have been a goal, uh, save there, not a goal. And he just curls it past the keeper. And they overstepped on that one, got out of position. Not the start we want. Leeds back on the attack here. Poor start. Acuna tries to keep it in there. Probably should have let it go, but Pickering comes up defensively. Leeds still have the ball here. A very solid passing. Heim does get beat. All down to Dolan. Does have some pace and space here. Just get barreled there by the defender. And unfortunately we're going into the second half with very little opportunity here. Not how we wanted to start the episode. All out to Brewster. Down to Pickering here. Now through to Dolan. And unfortunately blocked across there. But we do get the corner. Unfortunately James does win it there. Dolan sliding across. Green trying to get back here defensively. And he does well. Again, Lee's just all over us. You can really see the quality difference here. Too slow to pass that ball away there. Nice play there by Carter. To cut it off. All through to Buckley. Bacuna here. Down to Asante. And a 
again. We're just sluggish. We're back into the middle. Kidding me. A shot there. Leeds showing why they're on top, and James just hits an absolute hurler from outside the box. Off the post. Oh, it's a tough start. Unfortunate penalty there. And we're going to bring Roberts on. Dolan just really hasn't had the opportunity much. But he is first and obviously one of the elite squads in the championship. Same there by Piers. All out the semi here. Can we get a quick play here? It's exactly what we need. Asante's got the pace here. Does he? No, he doesn't. Unfortunate. Roberts trying to slide across. He does well. All into the box. No, unfortunate there. Could have been a penalty there with the defender taking out the leg, but... Missed opportunity. Pass blocked. Ball goes out and we're now in extra time. That's going to be it. The unfortunate attacking flow there really didn't have any opportunity and we walk away with the loss. 60-40 split on possession and our best player Roberts who only just came on uh, so that really shows how dominant Leeds was in this one and the transfer has been official so in the next transfer window Sam Gallagher will be moving on from Blackburn Rovers we're able to secure that 1.7 million um, so pretty happy with that one Big match here 14th place versus us in 12th uh, We need to get these three points to Continue that momentum we had before we went up against obviously uh, Leeds in that last matchup uh, We are going to go with the second squad here and Potts will be making his debut in the center back position We obviously got Heim, but he played the full match for Leeds uh, and he's completely gassed at the moment. Uh, so Potts will get that debut and we'll see how he goes in this one. And here we go. Obviously having some great form before that match against Leeds, so hopefully we can shake that off. Not really. Be too discouraged after that tough First match, a little chip over here to Leonard. Saves there by the keeper, unfortunate. Just couldn't squeeze it past him. Shot a little bit too straight. Step back in on the inside. Defence all over him, Bacuna. Little chip over to Leonard again. And there we have it, the young kid. What a beautiful header to start the match. Show him why we should trust him. A nice little chip there by Bakuna. Chip back between two defenders. And finishes it off with style. Great goal. Just to let you know the club shop is open after today's game. 
if you'd like to get your tickets for the next game or club merchandise. Defensively, got to play a little bit stronger there. Sigurdsson missed with the tackle and Britain trying to support play there. Defensively, Sigurdsson all into the corner. Defense all over him, but he does get the ball away, unfortunate. Carter in the middle, quick ball through to Semi. Slows it down. Through to Sigurdsson now. Almost curls it past. Beautiful shot there by Pakuna. Quick hands there by the ref. Uh, ref. <laughs> by the goalkeeper. Too much is happening. Almost kills that goal. Is if the ref was getting involved, it'd be an investigation. Corner here. Header. But we do settle it. And it goes for the big shot, but we do get another corner here. It's good to see he's got the confidence to take that shot. So we can get him in the box here. Unfortunately, we can't. And what a power shot there by Sammy. Almost gets it in. Oh, that would have been an absolute screamer if it landed. And it coming up defensively here with Roberts pushing up forward. And Garrett getting in the way but does get tripped up. Unfortunate. Pots a little bit out of position there. But Pickering comes up well defensively. Nice ball there. Acuna tries to settle it over to the left. And unfortunately, not a good header attempt there by Sigurdsson. Britain gets beat on the whip there by the winger. Roberts and Pickering. A nice play there by Bakuna. He's having a great game. He's been everywhere. Real good position player there. He's great in defence for us at the moment. Almost a header there for a goal. Appears with the save. Obakuna, he gets up front, he stays deep. He's a bit of a all-rounder, which is exactly what we wanted and why we signed him. Unfortunately there, Britton goes in for the tackle, but he really doesn't stick his foot in there to try and steal the ball sure what kind of tackle attempt there was done by Britain. Kind of just steps to the side. Let's him straight through. And again, short side. He let the goal in. Ah, unfortunate. Knew we were in extra time. Really didn't have much opportunity. Just tapped it a little bit too far forward, but we are in the second half here. Let's see if we can get another goal and get this win. Garrett with the trip over, unfortunately. Not the start we want. Potts with a great defensive play there, but he was offside. It wouldn't have counted anyway. All through to Garrett here. Down to Leonard. Sigurdsson with the ball. Nice ball through to Britton. Ball back to Sigurdsson. Down to Bakunia. We'll chip over here to Leonard. So close, but offside. Would have been potentially not even half a foot in front. Real nice run there. Oh, 
That was a poor pass there by Britain again. But Sigurdsson now with the ball. Through to Leonard. Kuna. Oh, trapped there, unfortunately. Chip over the top here to pick her in. All back to Leonard here. Save there by the keeper, unfortunate. Potentially should have went for the power shot there, but we got the corner. Oh, Carter, the big man, 69th minute, secures our second. This is why we renewed his contract. He's been developing well. Getting involved. And a nice goal off the corner. Ball out here wide. Semi trying to come up defensively. Let's uh, cut his first match in the championship as well. Unfortunately, Leonard tripping up there. Britain trying to put on some defensive pressure, but he does get beat. I feel like I'm saying that way too often at the moment. And unfortunately, the ball does go wide, and we're going to sub off uh, Britain here, and we're going to bring on Ranking Costello. I just feel that Britain's potentially not having his best match here. So we'll give him a break. Overall, been happy with uh, Potts's debut, except for that pass. Just when I was about to give him praise, could put us in a real position here. Pierre's with the save. Oh, that almost turned disastrous there. Unfortunately, Sigurdsson couldn't get the pass through. Sliding across defensively. All in the semi here. And a picker in. Defense was just pressure everywhere on that one. Really pushing up. We're in extra time, so of course they are. With the block shot, we do get that 2-1 victory. So we get the three points. And a nice way to shake off what happened against Leeds. Got a 43-57 on possession. And our man of the match landed 8.9 with the captain semi coming in at an 8.6. Carter, obviously phenomenal as well. And Bakuna was also fantastic for us. With that win, we currently move into 8th position with 20 points, and we will be versing Rottenham, Rothenham. With that win, we do move into 8th position uh, with 20 points, and we're going to verse uh, up next will be Rothenham in 19th position in the championship. Uh, we will go with the starting lineup, our main number one squad. A lot of them got their legs uh, freshened up, skipping last match. Uh, so hopefully we can put in a good performance because we do have a cup match against Liverpool next. Uh, so hopefully we can build some momentum going into that match. So looking for a big performance here from Dolan. We gave him that starting position in the first match against Leeds. But here's a real test for him. Can he produce... Real momentum game here. If we win this, we'll be putting us in a great position for that next match against Liverpool. We're obviously 
Going to be massive underdogs for that one. Oh, wide shot there by Asante. Unfortunate. Going for the power. Just didn't swing back like we wanted. But a real opportunity there to start the match. Oh, Asante. Not able to come up. Same with Brewster defensively. We're able to slow it down there, but again, we're just not getting in the way of the ball like we need to. Ball through to Brewster. Defense just crushes us. Green gets beat there. Dolan unable to recover. Ball into the middle. But Carter with the defensive play. Ball through here. Britton. Unfortunately just taps it too far in front of him. And Carter again coming up defensively. The big guy. And Semi on the outside. how you like to finish it a real captain's goal steps back on the inside and curls it past the keeper step back gets himself in position and just puts enough curl on it goal for Blackburn Rovers number 8 Sammy Sismonics Defensive play there. Brewster now with the ball. Dolan running through. Can he get the momentum there that he needs? Semi. Chips aren't really working in our favour at the moment. A big power shot there by Buckley, but the defence was up there. Ready for it. Carter coming up defensively. Really playing well, Carter. That's how you like to finish it off. Bakuna with the pass. Sees his open striker. Puts it in front of him. And he just spins and scores the second. Great pass there. Long ball. He just catches the goalkeeper. Flat footed there. Great goal. Blackburn Rovers goal. Great Number start to the match. We're up 2 0. And the momentum continues here. Buckley now with the ball. He does have Asante with him. Can he get in front? Unfortunately, he just wasn't running onto it quick enough. Again, Buckley going for the big shot. And Carter up defensively. Oh, Buckley almost squeezes it past the keeper. He's playing well, Buckley. Unfortunately, again... Just probably going for a little bit too much there by Bacuna. And Carter again defensively. He's all over the place at the moment. Oh, just dribbles it across the floor. Brewster going for the shot. It gets blocked. But Asati picking up the scraps. And we've got the 3-0 victory. I'm oh, sorry, I said it again. 3-0 lead. And hopefully the victory. Goal for Two goals for Asante in this one. And we're going to go into the second half. Great first half by Blackburn Rovers. Boston now with the ball. Let's have Asante with him. Dolan 
Little ball through to Asante. Can he get his hat trick? He can. Oh, offside. Unfortunate. Would have been probably half a leg, I'd say. Not even that. Half a back. <laughs> but he's looking for his third. Might be able to get it here, get his hat trick. He's first in the in the jersey. But let's not forget Rothenham is a championship league team. And we've got to defend. That was poor defensive play there by Britain. And Carter wasn't able to get across. Gets caught on the outside. Curls it past our keeper. Santi almost gets it through there. Defensively, Britain's just getting caught out of position too many times. It's not good. Ball into the middle. Iron with the clearance. Sam's back there, the captain. He's able to kind of hit through the gap here. Does he have enough pace? No, he doesn't. It's unfortunate. Potentially should have tapped it a little bit further on. This is not good. Defensively, we've got to be better. I just feel like Carter and Britain's not trusting each other down this right-hand side. Britain getting caught behind again. Same with Carter. And we let the second in. shot afterwards we're going to bring on Fleck here We've got a big match so Bakunia is going to rest if we play like this defensively we're going to get absolutely slaughtered by Liverpool to almost be able to slip it, slip it through. I'm going to bring on Rankin Costello to finish the match here. Hopefully he can bring a bit of stability down this right-hand side. Britain's not had his best performance. Big shot attempt there and blocked. We've got Heim trying to slide across defensively. He does well, the big guy. Slow down the attacking momentum. Costello. Semi having to recover here. And Carter. Really not, not what you want from your, your back line. Now Semi with the ball. Trying to settle it here. Ball into the box. Oh, Dolan tries to take the shot there, but unfortunately gets blocked. Ball through to Fleck. Onto Buckley. And again, the shot from outside the box, just not on target. And we finish the match at least with the victory. We get the three points. 46 54 split on possession. And our man of the match, 10 out of 10 performance, Thomas Asati.
So on the next episode, we will be sending out scouts. But if you want the opportunity, let me know what country and what position we should be chasing. Drop a comment below. We do need to upgrade that back line. So right, left back and center. Center back are our prime positions that we really need to develop. Uh, but let me know what country you'd like me to scout and hopefully find that next superstar. And we've got a big match here against Liverpool, round 16 of the Carabao Cup. Uh, we are, you know, underdogs, but we are at home here. Might do a bit of a change up to the squad. Thinking about bringing in Semi at the front and actually bring on Sigurdsson to play the right wing. That might help with a bit of that attacking flow. Put the captain up front and uh, then bring on a bit of experience as well in that right wing with Sigurdsson. Brewster was obviously been phenomenal for us, but he will be on the bench. Thomas Santi scoring those two goals in the last match. So he will get that starting spot next to the captain. We're obviously versed in a Premier League squad here with um, Liverpool. But we could take this opportunity to shock the world here and get a victory. That is the aim. It's going to be an uphill battle, that's for sure. Counter-attack here, unfortunate. Got to get across. Before. And too quick. Liverpool get up nine minutes in. Down the short side again, the keeper. Pine probably should have reacted a little bit quicker. But that should not be a goal down that short side. Goalkeeper does need to do better. Sammy with the pull start there. Saved there by Pierre's. Nice block by Carter. All through to Sammy. Oh, and there's a real opportunity here by Sigurdsson. And that's how you counter it. Beautiful goal. Hits it across the floor. It was a real good move there by Semi and Sigurdsson down the right-hand side. He has the pace. Sets himself. Comes up in the middle. Keeper comes out. And he just curls it past him. Fantastic reply. To that early on goal. And we just got to defend here. Can't let him just run through the middle there. Okay, Buckley sliding across. Cunha's going to need to come up defensively here. And we do. Ball goes out wide here. Sigurdsson with the ball. Let's get the ball back here. And again, a real opportunity. Ball back to Semi. Locked, unfortunate. Van Dijk. He's coming up defensively there. And that was a poor pass out of our danger zone. But Britain trying to come up defensively on that one. I'm sliding across. Oh, real opportunity. Tries to clear it. Doesn't do a good job. And it's a corner here. 35 minutes in. Great save there by the keeper. Learnt from the early mistake. Oh, 
Pritt in coming up, but unfortunate. Sigurdsson, nice defensive play there. We counter in here. Does have the pace. He's got Semi on the inside. And that's a penalty right in front. This could be a real opportunity here to get a lead. Coach isn't happy. What can we do here? Love if we could just curl it over the top. Fortune, just not enough power. Easy save there for the keeper. Unfortunately, took that step back before going forward, and we go into half time. Overall, pleasing first half. We do have that tied up. After that early on goal. Carter trying to get up defensively. Oh, save there by Piers. Corner here. Into the box. Clearance. Oh, Salah with a shot, but again, what a save. Clearance here. Semi got the ball and he does get on the outside here. He's got a real momentum. Real shot opportunity there, but we unfortunately just didn't have the pace there with with Semi. And unfortunate there, caught flat-footed defensively. Defense just. Not sure they kind of didn't know what Nunez was going to do. And again, short side. Uh, Achilles heel with the keeper. We let it in. All out to Dolan here. Couldn't get around. Can't give Salah that much space. He will make you pay. Carter with the defensive play there. Nice. Oh, the step across. Britain got beat. Salah just too good. Britain getting wrong footed. And Endo finishes it off. Liverpool got the 3 1 lead at the moment. move there by Sigurdsson all through to Buckley here Van Dyke unfortunately tall guy able to get the legs out Acuna trying to put some pressure on and Salah coming up unfortunate keeper tries to come out and you just can't stop him from there Straight through the middle of the defenders. 
Oh, it's tough now. Liverpool's kind of stepped up a gear here. Again, we'll just flat footed an attack. Himes got beat here by Salah. Looks like he pulls a Hemi there. Should be the end. Unfortunately, it looks like we are going to get knocked out of the Carabao Cup here. not let him score just before full time we have played well against a top elite Premier League squad here let's finish on a somewhat of a high there's going to be a penalty here for Salah to take don't block this oh, off the post and there we are, unfortunately knocked out at the Carabao Cup. A 4-1 victory to Liverpool. We thought potentially we had an opportunity to get an upset, but the class of Liverpool just showed in that second half. 37-63 possession split. And Sigurdsson, our man of the match in our squad, semi. Uh, both playing real well down that right-hand side. And there we have it. Unfortunately, round four, round 16, we are knocked out and no longer in that Carabao Cup. We do, before we end the episode, we do have that position change for Bustos. So we will implement that now. And then we will set him up to continue his development in the ball control dribbling. Uh, and a bit of um, speed in that as well. Um, so we'll do ball control dribbling, speed acceleration. Um, actually, we might do that one. Ball control dribbling, agility, um, kind of top up his speed, uh, but work on his shooting ability at the same time. I think that's potentially one of the better ways we can kind of start it for him and see how he develops from there. So we end the episode here, currently sitting that in eighth position. So with 23 points in, uh, we are only four points out of the top six. Um, so really a couple more wins and we're really pushing ourselves for that promotion. Leeds, obviously we lost against them in that opener of the episode. They are in first place with 36 points, but we've got a big match here coming up in the next episode against Norwich who are currently sitting third place. So we're going to definitely need to be on our A game to start the next episode. And uh, that will be coming up very soon. Hope you've enjoyed it. Once again, appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting involved as well on what we should do with some of the players. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Appreciate the support.